Hello, so for those of you that have been asking, um, I'm going to record another video on how you can stream your Xbox to anywhere over the internet, um, to any Windows 10 device. So what you need is a laptop or a tablet with Windows 10, um, and obviously an Xbox One. So the first thing you need to do really is just get used to using the streaming over your local network and check that it works. Um, so you get the Xbox app. <coughs> Go down here to connect to your Xbox One and then stream. Now to make sure this works, the settings that you need to have on, on your Xbox um, are as follows. So from your home screen, your left, down to settings, all settings. <coughs> Wrong one. So, so yeah, preferences, game DVR and streaming. You need to have all, all three of these turned on. <coughs> and then, as you can see, this so will let you stream the Xbox from your PC. <coughs> so, to do this over the internet, the first thing you need to do is find out or well, make some changes to your router settings. Um, so, if you go on Windows Key and R together, run CMD IP config and hit enter, then what you're looking for is the default gateway. Go to any browser and put in the default gateway and you need to settings page to load. <coughs> so I think this is a home hub three. Um then once you're there, it's going to on this it's advanced settings. We're going to home network, <coughs> find out the IP address of your um, yep, so find your Xbox. and then get the IP address. <coughs> now generally I'd change this to something higher, which I already have done, and then you want to tick the option which says always use this IP address, or something similar. Okay, and then we go to basic settings, no, sorry, advanced settings, And then in this it's classed under port folding, go to the DMZ, and in this it lets me just choose the console, but you might need to enter the IP address which you've just assigned to your Xbox. So hit that into the DMZ and click apply. And then what you want to do is find out what your public IP address is. So you want to <coughs> <coughs> go on to Google and type in what is my IP. It'll then bring back what it is. Um, I'm not going to do it, and you don't have to blow it out. But make a note of the IP address that it gives you. Okay, and then once you've got that, um, I'll, I'll show you how to do it from from off the network at the minute. So as you can see, on this example, I'm connected to bthub3-ffnz. <coughs> and the Xbox is... Well, it's wired at the minute, but... 
And you can see the IP address also matches that of um, what I've just assigned in the HTTP server. Okay. Okay, so to demonstrate the flexibility of this, um, I'm going to try streaming from my phone, which I've had working before. Um, so, create a personal hotspot. I mean, really, this is just to demonstrate that it's not on um, the same network as the Xbox. You can see I've just gone for a quick drive around the corner. Um, not entirely sure how much of the screen you can see there, but I'll turn the brightness up. So I'm connected to my to my phone. Um, see there, iPhone connected. Right. So then um, we go onto the Xbox app. We go down to connect to your Xbox One as we did before on the same network. Um, the Xbox might show but it, it definitely won't connect. So then you go onto the top right where it says add a device. Click on there and then it says Xbox One not listed, enter your console's IP address. So hopefully you'll have made a note of your public IP address which we got from Google. Um, so then what you want to do is just pop that into the box. So I'm just going to cover that for a second. And then hit connect. Okay. And then you can see it, it, it seems to have connected. So we'll stream. Okay. Now, now we're streaming. You know, I'm, I'm out in the car. There's no reason why, say you're in, in the car and someone else is driving, you're on 4G, down the motorway, get it on. <laughs> but, <clears throat> yeah, so, um, you can see that I'm connected to iPhone. Oh, disconnected. Admittedly, I'm on, only on 3G at the minute, so it's not the best, but. Um, so, yeah, connecting connected through my phone which on 3g but yeah so I, ho I hope this tutorial has been more useful than the last one and um, if you as always if you have any questions then feel free to stick them in the comments and i'll get back to you as soon as i can um but but yeah and please share if you can and, and subscribe and like it that'd be brilliant thanks